Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT. In this video we will show you how to back up your Android phone to Google Drive. By following this video you will be able to back up contacts, Google Calendar, SMS, Wi-Fi networks and passwords, wallpapers, Gmail settings, apps, display settings, time and date, and settings and data of apps not made by Google. Things to be aware of. Restoring data may vary depending on the phone and Android version. Also, you can't restore a backup from a higher version of Android to a lower version of Android. And while your Android phone might look a bit different to mine, the steps should be similar, just the menus might be a little bit different. Let's get started. Go into settings on your Android phone and scroll down to accounts and backup. Or on your phone you might have system and backup. Next, go into backup and restore and tap on backup my data. Turn the button on and then tap back. Tap on Google account and then add the Google account that you want to back up your Android to. Cool, here are the steps on my Oppo phone. As you can see the menus are different but the process is the same. Sign in with a Gmail account that you want to back up to. Pop your password in and hit next and then agree. Tap accept and then on the next screen it gives you some info on what will be backed up. Just tap OK. On the next screen, tap on Google Photos and then tap allow. Turn on backup and sync and then turn on backup. The next screen shows you two options, original or high quality. High quality stores the files at a smaller size, so this doesn't eat into your storage quota. I'm going to select high quality and then tap confirm. The next page you can read through or just hit skip. Alright, you can see we have no photos in Google Photos yet, so nothing's been backed up at this stage. Let's go in and create a contact to back up. Go into phone and then contacts, and then tap the plus icon. Make sure you add the contact to your Google account if it prompts. I'll just make a fake contact real quick so we can back it up. All right, so we have a contact. Let's go and make a video and a photo to back up. Cool, so we have our video and photos now, so let's back them up. Go into your backup settings again. And tap on backup now. If you want to check on the progress, swipe down from the top of your screen. Once it's finished, you should get a little message saying it's done. You can check Google Photos to see if your photos have been backed up. The next step here is really important. You need to check that your data has been backed up to the Google Drive. Remember a backup is only as good as the data you can restore, so always check what has been backed up. Open Chrome on another computer and log into Google Drive by going to drive.google.com. Click on Storage and then click on Backups. Cool, you can see here that I have a few Samsung Galaxy backups. And if you click on one you can see that I've backed up 31 apps and my device settings. I have the option to delete them as well if I want. 
But what about my photos, videos, and contacts? You can find them by going to the Rubik's Cube icon. Here's the contact that I created earlier. And your photos and videos can be found under Rubik's Cube and then Photos. And there they are. And it's the same story with your calendar items. Just check in the Rubik's Cube and then Calendar. With your photos and videos, you can click on them and remove them and they go to your trash bin, but they won't show up on your backed up items anymore. For details on storage, you can click on the storage icon. Awesome, so you've checked your backup and you're happy that it's all working. Let's reset your Android phone and restore the data. Now you don't need to do this, but this will just show that the backup is working. I'm just gonna go ahead real quick and set this up. Go ahead and add in your Google account again. All right, swipe down at the top and let it finish setting itself up. A lot of the apps and things need to finish downloading, so give it some time. If we check our contacts and photos, they are not downloaded yet. Go back into your Google Apps and Photos and turn the backups on. You will also need to allow access to your photos. Again, choose original or high quality if you like. Backup over mobile data if you want to backup the photos when you are not on Wi-Fi. Cool, there they are. If you want to move them to gallery on your phone, then tap the photo or video then tap the three dots, and then tap download. Otherwise they'll just be stored on your Google Drive. It also shows you a summary of where the files are stored. Awesome, they are in the gallery now, but what about our contacts? Let's check. Cool, and there it is, it's been restored now. One last thing, if you wanna see what data is being synced from the Google Drive, go into Settings, Accounts, and Backup, Accounts, tap on the account and go into Sync Account. Here are all your toggle switches for what's being synced. Just go ahead and turn off what you don't need. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as move Android to iPhone. Also, do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon.